In this lesson, we will learn how to build route patterns for sites using the North American Numbering Plan. In some courses, the route patterns are pre-configured, and in others, the students configure the patterns themselves. What I have drawn on the whiteboard is a diagram of a phone network. Let's imagine that this is your company. We'll call it company XYZ so as not to play favorites. Here we have two employee telephones at extension 11001 and 11002. You'll note throughout the lessons that our examples have five digit extensions. Your company may have four digits or more for their internal extensions. We're looking at the core of the call manager. The core of any telephony system is how do I set things up so that all the telephones in my company can access the numbers they need to dial. Those are the numbers in the North American numbering plan. We have them listed here. If you're living in North America, you're familiar with this type of dialing. We have 911 for emergencies, three digit service codes with 411 being the most familiar. Some areas still have We want to understand in a call manager system, how do I set things up so that all the phones in my company can access the numbers they need to dial in a timely fashion? You don't want to pick up the phone and dial a number and have to wait 10 seconds for the call to connect. In the call manager, when we're building out a dial plan, there are three basic components. The first component is route patterns. A route pattern is a pattern that's configured into the call manager. When somebody matches that pattern in the call manager, it causes the call to be routed. Let's look at a simple example of three X's. X can be any digit. X is a wild card. If I program the pattern XXX into the call manager, and I pick up my phone and dial 911, 9 matches the first X, 1 matches the second X, 1 matches the third X that call can be routed to emergency services. Similarly, if I pick up the phone and dial 411, I've matched my 3x pattern and I get information. That's a route pattern and that's what we're going to be talking about in this lesson. But there's a second thing you need to understand. It's called the dial plan hierarchy. In the dial plan hierarchy, when someone calls into the call manager and matches the pattern, it's the dial plan hierarchy that causes that call to be routed. If I pick up my phone here and I dial 411, I've matched my pattern in the call manager. The dial plan hierarchy says send that call out to this gateway to the PSTN, the public switch telephone network. That's your telephone network. The third thing you need to understand is class of service, which in the Cisco environment is referred to as class of control. Class of control helps us control our telephones. So, for example, if this were a lobby phone, we don't want to be able to dial long distance or international calls. It's class of control that will help us do that. For our very first lesson, we're going to focus on route patterns. What do we need to do to develop a set of patterns that will let us call anywhere? Let's make a list of the patterns we're going to deploy on the whiteboard. I've already configured the pattern XXX into the call manager. That's going to let me call 911, 311, 411, and so on. That's just fine if all I'm going to be dialing are three-digit external numbers. But let's say I want to call a seven-digit local number. I can configure a pattern of seven X's into the call manager. Now when I dial 555, five, five, one, two, three, four, the pattern's been matched in the call manager and the call can be routed. Let's see if that's going to cause us any problems. I dial 555. Five, five. I've matched the beginning of this pattern. I've also matched this pattern. Or, similarly, let's say that I want to call from extension 11001 to 11002. I dial 110 and I've matched this pattern. Does that mean that the call manager is going to route that call out to 110? Or is it going to wait? What the call manager is going to do is wait. It waits for a valuable configurable by the T302 timer. The T302 timer is set by default to 15 seconds. Often administrators will set that to a value of 5 seconds. So, I dial 110. I've matched the beginning of this pattern. I dial another 0. 
I dial a 1. The call manager is going to wait 5 more seconds to see if any more digits are going to be entered. So what's going to happen in your company if every time somebody dials a number they have to wait 5 seconds for it to start ringing? Complaints are going to come rolling in and we don't want that to happen. When you're setting up your dial plan, the T302 timer is your enemy. So we can see that our method of using just X's is not going to work. So what do companies do to differentiate between internal numbers and external numbers? Usually you dial 8 or 9. 9 is an access code that helps us differentiate between external numbers and internal extensions. So let's take a look at an access code. Let's take a look at 7 digit dialing. I can put in the 9 with a dot to indicate that the 9 is an access code and 7 X's. Now when I dial from 11,001 to 11,002, I don't match that pattern. There's no 9 there. So what does that tell you about internal extensions? That they can't start with a 9. That's an important thing to remember. We want to build up a set of patterns that let us call anywhere without a delay. So let's have a look at 911. Do we want to configure 911 into the call manager? Or do we want to configure 9.911? We want both. We don't know what's going to happen in the case of an emergency. Is someone going to pick up the phone and remember to dial the access code or are they just going to dial 911? So we want to have both of those configured into the call manager. Let's have a look at service numbers. We want to be able to dial 311, 411, 511 and so on. So that's an external call. We want to configure the 9 in. Service numbers don't start with a 0 or a 1. They start with 2 through to 9, followed by 1, 1. This bracket is another kind of a wild card. What that means is any one of those numbers will fit. I'll give you an example. Two, five, seven, eight, or 9 would work in this case. Another example. That doesn't mean dial 3, 4, 5, 7, 1, 1. It means dial 3 or 4 or 5 or 7 followed by 1, 1. And that's another example of a wild card. Let's imagine we have our three route patterns configured into the call manager and someone picks up the phone and dials 9, 9, 1, 1. Which one of these patterns is the call manager going to match? It's not going to match our first pattern because we only have one 9 out front. Will it match this pattern? Yes. Will it match 9911? Yes. So which of these patterns is the call manager going to use? The call manager is going to use the best match. We have eight different choices here and only one choice here. So the call manager is going to match this pattern. When you're configuring your labs, you may want to change this for service numbers to 2 through 8. Then this is the only match, which is the best match.